All right, guys, welcome back to another Itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have the house in the field, which is supposed to be like a mystery game. So I tried to do a video on this already, but I didn't know you have a flashlight at the start. And it was so dark and I couldn't find nothing. No thing. But if you hit the F key, there is a flashlight. I didn't see anything that told me to do it or anything like that, but I was like, there's got to be something because I can't see shit. But there is a flashlight, thank God. Uh, see, I didn't even see this the first time because I was wandering around in the dark. Um, but as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to support the creator. I think they did this as a college project. And the game's really pretty. Look at the stars. It's super pretty. Um, and if you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate that as well. Let's see. There's like a speaker out here. It looks like somebody was having a heck of a dope party, party, bro. Open sesame. Okay, my flashlight went out. There was a key on this table? Bro, I didn't... Four new messages. Huh. Message one. Hey, Mom. It's Jacob. Just letting you know that work gave me the week off to come down. See you soon. Hi. Oh. And tell my little sister happy birthday. Speak soon. Message two. Hey, it's Jacob again. Uh, do you remember Adam from Six Form? No. Uh, his granddad had, like, this bright green meteor land in his back garden. Apparently it made the news. He's also quite ill, but that's probably different. Don't tell Grandad, he'll just end up going to get it. And you won't see him for weeks. Alright, see you next week. Message 3 After speaking to Adam, his Grandad's house got completely locked down with something no doctor's ever seen, but the rock just disappeared and he oh, got shit. miraculously better. It's a Krona. Please tell me Grandad didn't take the rock. I know what he's like. See you Friday. Message 4 it's sorry I didn't pick up your call earlier. I was in a lecture. What do you mean you've been quarantined? How do you... Oh, uh -oh no. Can you bring the rock home? Let me know when I can come home. To replay messages, press the center button. To delete all messages, press zero. Granddad needs to stop taking people's rocks and stuff. That's a bad habit, man. Why are you taking people's stuff, dog? I need the rock. <laughs> My people need me. Oh. Okay, that kind of scared me because it opened so fast. What's this say? Dear Diary, today is the 15th day that I've not been let outside. I want to ride my bike. Granddaddy still has a cough and keeps himself in the basement so I don't get as cold. We should have had a delivery yesterday, but it never came. I think it got lost. Mommy says it's okay as long as we still have some cans that they forgot to take away. She says it will all be over soon, but I don't want to go back to school. I won't, can't wait to see what I get for my birthday tomorrow, Lindsay. Dear Diary, it's my birthday. I didn't expect a party, but my mom made a cake for me. She also brought me the new Beano. I swear I saw Daddy reading it before he went away last month. Mommy also let me speak to Granddad through the basement door today. I told him it was my 12th birthday, and he said, That's your lot. What does that mean? That's your lot in life? I don't know what that means. I don't know what he meant by that, but I'm not allowed to talk to him anymore. Let's eat now I'm 12. Granddad sounds like an asshole. Oh, he found another door. My nose itches. God dang me, you're infecting people and stuff. Let me out the door. I need out. Oh yeah, there's a magazine on the floor here too. Whoa! Somebody put spikes in my drain! Who would do such a thing? Oh, this ain't my house, actually. Local newspaper uses out-of-context stock image without the copyright owner's permission. More on page 22. The news only on page 25. News meteors lands in local garden. Jeff Ernest lives down Mont Montague Road and doesn't have a big garden, so he was was surprised to find a glowing green meteor in a small crater in his back garden. The meteor landed at about 9:45 p.m. As Jeff was getting ready for bed, he heard a some he heard a something smack down on his garden. Upon looking out of his window, he f saw a small rock in a small crater, which weirdly had already been had always been there. Apparently, the rock was glowing a bright green, but Jeff assumed that it was a toy that had been thrown over from ah, by the neighbor kids but as he picked it up and to throw it back it burned him it was really hot after police and a scientific expert 
arrived to investigate, it became clear that nothing like this had been seen before. After revisiting Jeff that day, he is left with small burn marks on his hand. He has also developed a small cough, but this is the believed to be unrelated. This is how the Rona started. It was a damn meteor. People say Harambe. This game says meteor. I think the meteor is more believable. What's up with this couch? Open sesame. Okay. Okay. Open sesame. Oh, okay. Ah, I have a sprint button. Oh, we're gonna need that later. Okay, Key, what do you go to? This one? Is this the door? Yes. What does this say? I know there's a key. Give me the key. What's this say? Ah, Daddy by Lindsay. Her dad's a house. Huh. Interesting. This house is in pretty good shape for being abandoned. What happened to this chair? All the chairs are beat up. Who been beating up on these chairs? The world may never know. Boop. Okay. Ah, a computer. Give me the key. I ring the bell to no answer and it is it's about at about this time that my daughter threw, throws down a bottle of water and a pot of noodle. Maybe they're out. Did they all get the did they get the all clear? If I don't get a response soon, I might have to get out, go out and get some water. I have a sink, but I don't trust the water that comes out of it. I tried it once; it tasted like shit. My rashes are starting to heal, so I could be declared as clean soon. But there's no way we could get a doctor over to check it. Oh well, till next time. Well, that's a nonchalant way to think about it. I did it. I went upstairs for the first time in what feels like months. Just sitting at my desk writing, this feels so empowering. Where did the other go? Others go. My daughter and granddaughter were here yesterday. It's just like they'd packed up and left. Most of the barricades are still intact, but the ones on the back door have been stripped off. Did they leave? Were they taken? The phone's still working, but nobody I know has seen them. There's no food, all the bottled water is gone, and I'm all alone. All I could find is my secret stash of beer I keep under the bed. If people are able to go outside, what's the big deal? Today marks the start of an experiment. It includes putting my feet up in the garden with a beer. And if I die, well, maybe I won't. <laughs> That's my kind of experiment, my dude. We're screwed anyways. Drink beer, sit in the garden. I wonder what happened to us. He seems pretty nonchalant about the whole matter. And usually when people like are like fascinated with things, like, and it's like a bad thing that causes like a curse or makes them sick, usually they don't want to leave it or they feel bad when they leave it. But he seemed like he felt better when he left it, so that's kind of weird. It's not fitting into my normal trope. This must be the stairs. Nope, it's a bedroom. Where's the key at? I know you got it. Where are you going? Where'd you put it? Oh, there it is. Now to find the door the key belongs to. There's gotta be something in here I can look closer at. That seems to be the rhythm to this game. We find a key, we look closer, we learn something. Okay, there's nothing to look closer at. We must be getting to the end of the game. Too bad I can't jump. This bed looks comfy. This door is barricaded. That must be the front door. Ah, uh, this is the last door, right? To the stairs. Uh-oh. This is where the meteor the flying hunk of space shit is. Oh, it's kryptonite! Dope! We did it! Why would we come down here? Are we... Dumb? Yes. Yes, we are. We are the dumb. Look at this sink. Touch rock. Yep, he's touched it. Lock the door. What? He's gonna be fine. He has it now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Please answer the questionnaire. You may close this application. <laughs> he touched it. Close the door. What? It was all set up by the voicemail dude. Who was the voicemail dude? Oh, what a dick. It was just a clever bait. Oh well, we beat it. Let's do the questionnaire. We'll do the questionnaire as a squad. If I can find it. Where's the questionnaire? Game and questionnaire. 
I don't see the questionnaire. What questionnaire? Oh, it's got the questionnaire and the link. Okay, I don't see it. Hmm. Information? Uh, why don't you play the game, please? Oh, okay. It's got a question. Bro, why didn't you just put the link somewhere? That was, <laughs> that was a lot of extra. You have to go to like the information note to do the questionnaire. All right, we got this. We can do it. Teamwork. I think this is our first time doing a questionnaire together, gang. Storytelling in video games. Please play the game before completing the questionnaire. Your responses are anonymous. False. Did you notice that story was being told? Yes. Four. Because I'm pretty upset by the ending. I don't really know why they trapped me in the basement. That doesn't make any sense. And it seemed like the person that was calling, warning people about the rock, was the guy that said, He touched a rock. Lock him in there. Why? <laughs> uh, it was actually pretty immersive. I was getting into it. Find uh, bad space rock lands, poisons people, people get mad, quarantine people, uh, rock man investigates because he's dumb, voice recording man. When I touched rock, which was messed up. <laughs> uh, which of the following methods of storytelling did you notice being used in the story? NPCs, dialogue, audio. The crash car didn't really mean much to me, but. The house being broke down, I guess, was part of it. And the, like, warning tape and whatnot. Interactable elements. Yeah. You are informing the player through text on screen. It didn't tell me about the story, but it told me what to do. Like, the UI, it mainly just told me to, like, open the door. Yeah, I don't think that was part of it. On the scale, how well... I was pretty immersed until they're like, Oh, he touched a rock. Oh, that was pretty immersive. I'll say five. That's a five. Which of these methods of storytelling? Probably. It'd be a mix between. Oh, that's pretty hard. Can I pick like multiple? Oh, well. That kind of is true, but the. Ah, yes. Is there something you would add, remove? Okay, this one will actually do in semi complete sentences. I. Don't know the ending was quite strange and left a lot of questions. Why is the voice recording man in the house? Check the whole house. And why did he lock me? Why did he wait for me to touch the rock? To lock me in the basement. Also, I think it would be good to let people know that the F key is the flashlight key. Because I wandered for a hot minute in the dark like a dumbass. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching as always, and like I said, I'll leave a uh, link to the crater in the back in the bottom, and I'll also leave a link to the survey in my video if you want to find it, if you don't want to go through the information stuff, so you can like, give them feedback and whatnot. But it was a pretty cool game, I liked it. Uh, besides the, the things that I was saying that I would change at the end there, everything else was pretty cool. Um, the voice acting was pretty good. I don't know if they meant to use a different voice for the person that locked me in the basement or not, but it sounded like the same dude in the recording that's like, oh, the rock's bad, rock bad.
<laughs> but uh yeah it was pretty dope if you liked the video please like and subscribe bye